stars I ain't worried about the drama on my grind like I can skate Middle finger to the flashes in my face like fuck the fame I just want a couple dollars so my girl can change her name Empty promises from entities I lost like Navigate Got no patience, I can't wait Everything is showing time This is the Kings of Queens podcast, man What's going on? You know I got BJ Kramer in here, man. What's up? He, hey, he got to play cologne on today, what dog. Y'all do, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, what that Bath and Body Works, you know what I'm saying? Ah. You know, got that bourbon on for those of y'all that don't know. <laughs> little, you know $14.99, you know, best $15 I done spent. Oh, no, nah, put, hey, I hope y'all take it now. Keep be plugging y'all in. Cause... I'm, I'm trying to plug it. You know, and make sure you mention my name when you go over there. Bath and Body Works that BJ Kramer sent me. I get Bath and Body Works points when when you do that. I get trying to get sponsored. Yeah, bro? man, I'm trying to get sponsored. By Bath and Body Works. Yeah, man. It's not a bad sponsorship. Yeah, man, bro. it's not. I'm a fresh nigga. <laughs> a fresh king. <laughs> you hear me? That I, I be taking shot. Fresh king all the time. Never funky like some of y'all funky bastards. You ever be? Nah, huge facts on man. You ever be at the elevator? You be like, mm. yeah. honestly, bro. Just man, a little talk. Rafa, he don't mean you. I know I told you he did that. <laughs> <laughs> he don't mean you, but look, we on baby tomorrow, okay? Hey, we got Raphael in the studio today, you know what I'm saying? They know who Raphael is? Barely. Oh, I was about to say, you know, that's that's your fan base when they know what your dog is. Yeah, man. Yeah, he been here on a few episodes, man. That's getting it on way, getting, getting it. it in. Getting your reps in, huh? Yeah, man. That's what's up. He don't stay for too long. So, BJ, let me ask you something, man. What's up, man? How was your day today? Man, my day was beautiful. Waved uh, up. I yeah. see you. I'm getting yeah, feasted. I mean, I mean you, know, <laughs> you, you, you know. You know how I go. You know. Uh, so, you okay? You okay? <laughs> You all right? Rafa checking on me, dog. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll give him two Is there a doctor in the house? Where's Jack Sparrow at, my name? <laughs> yeah, man, but, they, you know, the day's been cool and everything. Uh, had to go to work, you know. Same, same. Uh, had to go work for the for the man. And uh, now, you know, we over here working on ourselves right now, you know. So you can but, never be too tired to work on yourself. That's what I had to learn. Uh, man, because my, my first two years, man, I just felt trapped because I'm doing a whole lot of things, you know, yeah. between school, stand up, trying to pop on social media with the social media comedy, trying to trying to get money to fuel all of that, you yeah. know, it's, it's, you get trapped in, oh, I got to make money, and then by the time you get home, you just feel like going to sleep, man. Nah, facts, tell you, yeah. My room was jacked up, let me tell you. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. cleaned my room uh, over the weekend, and really? yeah, for the first time in about a year. For, for like a full-fledged year, I just got trapped in that circle of, okay, let me just shave the day off and then just take a shower, get in the bed, yeah. and just reject for the next day. But you can't just be doing that sometimes. Reject, not jack off. There's a difference. I mean, well, there's a little bit of that, too. You know, what I couldn't sleep, just yeah. I mean, if we're just being honest. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. hey, man, another day keep the stress away. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep a straight face when you say it. You know, another day keep the stress away. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what my doctor uh, prescribed me. Oh, 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 he prescribed me a wank. Oh, I need to go did. to that doctor. Like, hey, doc, I need my prescription. Yeah, he's the dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulders was tense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the last time you had a release? You know? Like man, it's been a while, man. You know, it's been a while. It's been a while. You know, girlfriend moved and shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. trying to be loyal out here in these streets. You know, <laughs> and you stick my dick in. And, you know, it's, it's kind of hard out here. It's like, hey man, you know, you ain't cheating. Yeah. Tell what I ate, what jacked off in a minute, uh, because I just get mad for no reason. <laughs> Somebody sighed at the wrong time, like a sigh. Like, oh, I said, "What the fuck are you breathing for?" <laughs> oh, they're breathing. 
<laughs> Shit. Hell yeah, nah. But, and then after you jack up, you just be in a pleasant mood. Just yeah, like, like, how was everybody's day? Like, you jacked off the day. Yeah. You, yeah. How was your day? I'm like, yeah, he jacked off. He jacked yeah. off the day. Oh, you bought lunch today? Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. He, he, okay. he busted a nut. I, I better watch Jerm mix on this food. God damn. <laughs> he, he busted a nut. God damn. Let me ask you, man. I don't know if you've seen. I heard some rumors about this Dr. Doolittle thing. Yeah. I had to go release some stress after I seen that Robbie Downey Jr. <laughs> I, I didn't release stress to Robbie Downey Jr. Just for <laughs> confusion. However, I had to release stress, stress because I was like, bro. Eddie Murphy playing that shit. Yeah, thing. yeah, it's always going to be a, uh, a childhood they, memory. They switched it up for a white man. No, I don't think it's that, man. I think... I think that... Uh, <laughs> what you mean? What? Well, I mean, when you did. Really, oh, like, when you really think about it, I mean... He's white. <laughs> but <laughs> he's, 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 he's like one of the greatest guy. actors alive right now. So we got to give Robert Downey Jr. Ryan, that, you giving him greatest actors right I said, now? I said one of, not the. One of. I think the give greatest. Me, give me top five then. Cause uh, Denzel, Denzel's son, uh, uh, John. I need to see who Denzel's son is. John. Um, Where's my phone? I'm going to say it's John Jacob, Jim Muhammad Smith. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, John David Washington. I song. Yeah, so it's uh, Denzel Washington, John, John David, David Washington, what? Michael B. Jordan. No. Jamie Foxx. No, it and, cannot be Michael B. Jordan, bro. And, no, did you, did you see this last movie that he had? Which one? This last movie Wakanda? that... Uh, no, not Wakanda. He was good in that, too. Um, I put Chaz with Bowman as uh, number five. Because he's, he's okay. versatile. He's versatile. Michael B. Jordan is good. I just saw this last movie that he had with uh, Jamie Foxx. Is it Washington son? Mm hmm John Jacob Washington. No. Not Michael B. Jordan, though. That dude don't even have a lot of lines. And, uh, yeah. John David Washington, my bad. Yeah. You giving him? Nah, bro. He ain't got enough work to be in that nah, category, man. bro. Dude got, good dude got potential. Potential. I, if, you, if you know it, I threw in some old ones and I threw in some young ones. You know? Five people, dude, bro. Dude, those are five favorites I like watching. Okay. You know? What's the other dude He played? just, Michael B. Jordan just had this movie with uh, Jamie Foxx. It's called Just Mercy, right? Okay. And Michael B. Jordan plays this, uh, uh, this based on a true story, ba um, he was in... Um, Alabama. He was a lawyer. Uh, I forget the lawyer's name, but oh. he was down there and he was representing uh, incarcerated fellas that were on death row without proper legal representation. He talked a lot in this movie. Yeah, yeah he talked. He, he made her. Make her. My, my, I like to see this movie. Dude, the, the movie will change your perspective on how good of an actor he really is. I'm going to have to because he, there's and no Jamie movie. And Jamie Foxx, of course, did his thing. Where he has talked. Mm -hmm. Joe Budden, shout out to them. He did make, he did bring to my attention that he has not talked in the, just about 90% of his movies. Yeah. Yeah. So, him, I would like to see him talk now. Yeah. I knew right he now. had potential. Uh, Michael B. Jordan had potential when I saw Creed. And that emotional last scene where he was in prison, well yeah. not prison, but he was in jail and Rocky came to talk to him. Yeah. And that tear, that, that, that crying yeah. scene where it was like, you know, it was like he didn't even want yeah. the tears to come down and he had to catch himself. Like, oh shit, I'm crying. Yeah. You know, that, that right there, I thought that was a good choice. I'm like, yeah, man, you can't just, yeah. you know, because he, he, he's this strong uh, cub that's trying to be like his father, but he can't quite match up. You know, it was very Simba Mufasa type of moment. So right tell me why you feel it's okay for Ryan Dolly joining. Well, I feel like it's okay right now in the terms of Eddie Murphy left Dr. Doolittle at Dr. Doolittle 2. They had a few Dr. Doolittles after that uh, featuring his daughter, right? Uh, so that you right think there. Robert Downey Jr. is better than Thor? Thor? Yeah. Uh, you think I think that Robert Downey Jr. is better than Chris Hemsworth? That's his name? I haven't seen enough of Chris Hemsworth work outside of Thor to make that. I guess Robert Downey Jr. is a good. But I've seen I've seen uh, him and like uh, Holmes and 
and that other movie uh, that happened like way back in the gap where he was uh, I forget what other actor was playing in that but he was like the he was like a dirty cop and it wasn't like a dirty cop until like the end you didn't know that he, it was him Rob Downey Jr. and Johnny Depp Johnny Depp Johnny Depp got more range yeah, okay. yeah. He got so would you replace but Johnny Depp ain't putting no movies out apparently lately I mean he has but not of late I don't have a problem with Robert Downey Jr. playing uh, Dr. Doolittle because it's uh, it seems like uh, I'm not sure if Dr. Doolittle was a, um, a story Brad Pitt. that was in uh, the Disney lore a long time before it got adapted by Eddie Murphy and his team. Uh, but that's what it seems like. It seems like they're pulling from a completely different uh, direction that uh, that they didn't choose from uh, that was okay that wasn't presented in the Eddie Murphy movie like the Eddie Murphy movie you know he just basically went to work one day and just figured out that he could talk to parrots and then it's like the dog was talking and then it, it was just kind of like of a, a system of unfortunate events kind of like how that movie was set up where you got okay this is this is the pinnacle right this is the pinnacle of happiness that you're trying to get back to mm -hmm. and then everything just goes downhill from there and then in that, you found a way to be happier than you were starting off with your newfound ability or whatever. Right. Right. So in this one, it seems like they're going otherworldly. They're going, uh, this dude already knows that he has the ability to talk to animals or whatever, and they're going on the adventure. Now that I don't have a problem with, simply because I feel like it's something I haven't seen yet. Uh, I don't have a problem with Robert Downey Jr. playing the role because I feel like Eddie Murphy is on some other shit right now. He's doing other things. He just finished coming to America too. It's uh, 2020, so he said that he was supposed to be uh, starting his stand-up mm -hmm. uh, tour this year. And in order to do that, you got to be in the clubs, you know, uh, a lot <laughs> in order to, you know, facilitate an act that's worthy of touring and everything. So I figured that if he was out there doing other projects like Dr. Doolittle and God knows what else he has passed up on, I feel like that his next stand-up special that's supposed to be releasing on Netflix probably wouldn't be as good. I want him to divert most of his energy, if not all, back to uh, the stand-up that he's returning to. Because, you gotta keep in mind, this is Eddie Murphy. You know what I mean? This It's not like he's following up after the last time we heard from him uh, from a stand-up point. It, it wasn't like the last time we heard from him from a stand-up point. It was two years ago. Right. You know what I mean? You're following up Raw. <laughs> like, and Raw inspired a completely new generation of comics yeah. to come forth and try to take that mantle. Right. So it's like Delirious, Raw, and then what else? So your next special really can't be whack. The dude who played Get Out. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. I would put him up there for You put him up there? Yeah. 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 Nah, he earned that for me. Yeah, he's a good one. Is she um, queen and slow? Only because I heard what happened at the end of it. I, I don't want to... I don't, I don't like watching... There was watching. some good acting in there, man. There I, was some really good acting. I just hate... There was, man, there was man, I don't part, like watching this shit, man. There was a part in there... Okay, this whole thing started uh, as a Tinder date. And um, they ain't even had sex yet. Yeah. And he done killed the cop, kidnapped another person's car, and put another cop in the trunk, mm -hmm. something like that. There was a part in this movie that I felt was like so funny to me. He was like literally in the mirror and he was like, you could tell like he was looking like, this better be some good ass, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this better be some good pussy. I ain't even fuck yet. Yeah. And I'm a fugitive of the law. Yeah, nah, bro, for real. You know, like, like real talk. Nah, seriously, nah. She was and this whole, this whole thing started because she took his phone. Yeah. He tried to take his phone uh, from her while he was driving or whatever. Keep in mind, this first day shit. This first day. You take my phone. I'm like, hey man, get my phone. I swerve a little bit yeah. in the lane. Somebody pulled me over. You you done run your big mouth. I'm over here trying to cooperate with the damn cop. You done ran your big mouth talking about I know my rights. He done shot your ass. And now I try to gotta defend you. And the effort to defend you, I gotta shoot that motherfucker dead. That yeah, shit, baby. Wait, Cause you wait. took my phone, bitch. If you would have just trusted me. Listen, your shit better be like a juicy fruit, motherfucker. Man. For the Capri Sun. Man. And you know when they did have sex? It wasn't even romantic. You know when they did have sex? They did it in the bathroom or something? No, it was in the car. Um, 
after she visited her mother's grave. That's nasty. Bruh. <laughs> so Come on now. She get horny off of dead people. Yeah, and while they was having sex, uh, there was a protest that was happening or whatever, and this little kid got shot because he shot a, a cop. Damn. Yeah. Well. While this, is, I don't want to see niggas dying exactly. while I'm watching some some ass cheeks get smacked. I ain't watching niggas dying. Period. I like that shit crazy. Now if he got away from him, I'm sorry, my eyes is crazy. And if he got away from the dude, no. I would watch it, but no. Nah, you know what's know. funny? That dude done played in Get Out, a movie where a black dude dates a white woman and it goes completely wrong. And he's played in Queen and Slim, uh, where he dates a black woman and it goes completely wrong. So this nigga can't get a break. So he might want to go ahead and try Mexican, uh, Chinese, yeah. uh, Italian, uh, Italian, Puerto Rican, yeah. uh, Cuban. Huh. So, something other than black and white because Indian. apparently black and white ain't your thing, bro. No, it ain't. It ain't. Have you seen Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah. That's the reason why I don't want him playing Dr. Doolittle. I feel he can do more. Mm. I feel he can do more than sitting and talk to the green screen and animals and shit like, come on, like, you're not animals. Now, how, how much of that do you think that was his direction or... Of what? The, the movie? Do, 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 do? Um... Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. How much of it do you think was him? Okay, because like when you're an actor, <clears throat> sometimes you make the movie, right? And then sometimes um, you got to make best. You got to do the best with the material that was given, right? Right. So how much of that do you think played a role into that? I think he played. I think. I'm not gonna say he sit here and say he directed that shit, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like that shit came naturally to him to where he could make something out of nothing out of that. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Cause especially when part two came out, I would see him do a part three. Cause yeah, he is known a part three. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I got to figure out where the fuck he's from. Because even when he's doing a little crazy dance, that seems like some shit he'll do. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like those like home. But, but um, yeah. Even I mean, Iron Man. Iron Man, you got to understand, man, Robert Downey Jr. spearheaded that whole Iron Man thing. And when yeah. you really look at it, I mean, yeah, the, the Incredible Hulk technically was the, the first movie to spearhead the MCU. Right. But, um, man, that, that, that Iron Man, uh, the, when it first came out yeah. in 20, what, 08? Uh, I don't know, long time ago. Dude, that, that movie was the movie. Yeah. That, you know, and then... They used him, a really smart decision on their play, they used him as the constant. Yeah. You know, I didn't necessarily like Iron Man 2 or 3. Right, really, yeah, yeah. You know, just because of the, the, the goofy-ass way that they went with it. Yeah. But I always enjoyed watching him. And then when Captain America came, it was like, okay, well, the first movie was like, all right, this is the start point. And the second movie came, and it was like, oh, shit, yeah. Right? But then all these other movies started happening. Yeah. And Iron Man was always the one constant. Yeah. You know, and you really didn't realize how emotionally attached you were to him until yeah. you lost him at the end. Yeah. And he ended up saving everybody with a snap of a finger and shit. And I ain't gonna lie, yeah, man. I was crying in the movie, but I, I didn't cry when he died. I cried when the, the scene after that with a hologram yeah. of him. Yeah, he was died. basically explaining... Like his thought process on the whole thing before it went down, right? And then he just like bent down at his daughter and said, "I love you, three thousand. I started bawling like a bug. Yeah. Holy shit, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so I, I didn't realize that alone is like, okay, yeah, you know, given given the time, given the right push, and given the right direction, then I think that uh, I just feel like Dude, it was a money grab, bro. Because, it might be, man. Because it's it like like, be. like you said, that attachment. I feel it. for those who always wonder, like, why why is this person quitting this role or this mm -hmm. role? Because we get attached to them as a role. Yeah. Like for Harry Potter, that dude, we all know, boy, that's Harry Potter. I still know his nigga name. <laughs> <laughs> that's Harry Potter. <laughs> that's Harry for a long Potter. Pro like for a long uh, time, uh, I would see. Uh, I used to love uh, watching The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and Frodo, nigga. Frodo. I mean, that's Frodo. And Sam. Smeagol. And, and Smeagol, but, but Smeagol, you know, you really never saw yeah. the, the, the actor's yeah, face yeah. and everything. But 
with Frodo and Sam, anytime I would see them in an older movie or a movie that came after that, yeah. I was like, yo, that's Sam. Yeah. Yo, that's Frodo. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the real names, I do not know. Yeah, it's got Smokey, at Friday, you know what I'm saying? Chris Tucker. I'm Chris Tucker. Smokey. Yeah, he's supposed to be coming back, um, I think in February to the Grand Prairie Theater. Really? Yeah, I might go see him. No, nah, we definitely gonna go see him. Yeah, I might go see him. Just see what he's talking yeah, about. I need to you know, send, send me that link, bro. Start like I was, I watched his last special. It was pretty. Is he cool. doing a tour or something? Yeah, he's doing a tour. So I would really like to see. Emails going out, out, man. Y'all better stay tuned. Yeah, man. Nah, you know, you know who he is. You know. And NBA young boy, I hear you not doing interviews. Like I talk to your people. Oh, I got some more work to do too. Hey, you start doing interviews, man. Although I know everything going down, try doing some interviews. Oh man, I, I didn't know you was just starting uh, on him like that. Uh, oh yeah, man. I mean, it's business, dog. He Damn. Okay. Do some interviews, dog. Hey, hey. Yeah, man. Hey, man, get it how you get it. <laughs> <laughs> get it how you get it. <laughs> This motherfucker, the Eminem of podcast. Like, okay, you yeah, okay? First of all, fuck y'all. No. <laughs> For not doing interviews. First of all, yeah, yeah. When you see this bitch, nigga, you gonna know that you need to do some interviews. No. Nah, you was crazy, Pax, man. But this all good love, man. Y'all gonna wanna work with me one day. I'll be ready. That's how it is, man. Sometimes you gotta stay down until you come up, you know. Like a lot of the people. What I'm really realizing, man, is that a lot of people that are even close to you really. Um, they, they support you and everything, but they don't really partake in the vision. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the way that you do. Yeah. And, and when you know that, it's kind of a little bit disheartening. And, you know, you got to be able to transfer that energy. Energy is neither created or destroyed. It just exists. Yeah. You got to be able to transfer that energy into something positive. Right. You know, use that as fuel. Yeah. You know? Because a lot of the people that surround me and everything, they may have done... You know, things that they are not too proud of. Right. Um, and that they feel like that has had some type of uh, changed my outlook on how I view things and how I do things. But one thing that they, I think that would be pretty cool. To I don't mean to see. pause you, bro. You got some thick eyebrows. I know, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> These caterpillars <laughs> have enough. never been through <laughs> the cocoon part, man. Like, they never gonna be butterflies. <laughs> this is just like big ass larva uh, on my forehead, dog. I'm serious. And my girl tried to shape them up, man. I ain't never letting her do that again, boy. Like, <laughs> like man, I had my hair cut. Fade looking fresh, yeah. mad line up on 10. Yeah. And she said, Let me do your eyebrows. I said, Well, every other place is trim. Yeah. Might as well get that shaped yeah. up. And then I look like a girl. Oh, I, was, damn. I was a bad bitch. <laughs> 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 you couldn't tell me nothing. I, I just knew I was fine. <laughs> I was sexy. <laughs> Oh, she put a split in there, man. Yeah, like she, oh, boy. Damn. She, she fucked me up, boy. I, <laughs> I was pulling men and women, boy. I was playing both sides, boy. If I wanted to, I could play both sides, boy. I had a mean crossover. Like, nigga. Like, nigga. Like, like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, boy. I ain't gonna lie. It don't help. It don't help uh, that I went to the store with all this happening. And I was wearing some jeans that were a little bit too skinny. A little bit too skinny. Uh. Too skinny ass jeans. And I was in Kroger. I was trying to get the good lettuce. Uh, down at the oh, down at the, <laughs> down at the you bottom, Kroger. you know what I mean? Was, they keep the good lettuce down at the bottom, and they keep the bad lettuce at the top because that's where your eyes go. Not you know right. what I'm saying? That, yeah. That's what they do in produce. They yeah. be like, hey, you know, I want to put all the stuff that need to go out right now, eye level. I want to put the good shit where you can't find it. Yeah. So I'm bending down, I'm getting this produce, and I just heard from the back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? He, mm. <laughs> I, I, I turned around. I was like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> he said, God yeah. damn. <laughs> I said, you want to run that by me again? He said, you got too much ass in them jeans, boy. I said, what? <laughs> he said, you need to change that. <laughs> you know, them jeans are too damn tight and your eyebrows are too damn arched. 
for you to be wearing them jeans. Oh, oh. He said, <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was a woman from the back. <laughs> he thought, he was really liking what he saw. It, it, it didn't help that the pants were red, so it was like really showing off the, the, <laughs> the shape and the voluptuousness of my ass oh, cheeks. Oh, you confused. <laughs> And I was wearing Vans. It was just bad. It was just real bad. Yeah, you hit the him with the Vans with no socks. <laughs> <laughs> just put some lotion on my ankles. Like, it was real bad, man. Like, there was nothing unattractive about me from the back. I had to get my needles straight. And my hair was, like, short. You know what I mean? I could have passed with, like, one of those lesbians that decided that she was going to cut her hair off yesterday. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you ever see them? Boy, like, like before they start growing out dreads... <laughs> Like, like real talk, like I saw a cute ass baby <laughs> with waves in her hair and she was like brown skin, she had a grill on and Before shit. Before she started going Like dreads. dude, like dude, I was like yo, dude, like I know you're a lesbian but, but why? Yeah, dude. <laughs> but why? Dude. <laughs> why? Dude. Why? 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 I told her to call me when she curious. <laughs> Cause I didn't even know that she was lesbian at first. I thought she just like a short oh, haircut. You know what I mean? Curious. Like, like, cause <sighs> when I first saw her, she was <sighs> in a red polo <laughs> and khaki pants and Jordans. And I'm over here thinking like, oh, okay, she must work at Target. You know, like that. That don't mean that she gay. You know? I was like, girl, what's, I started trying to spit game and real recognize real. She said, nigga, just stop right there. I was like, why? Like, I'm gay. Like, like for real? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, you ain't buying nothing? Like, no, no, just gay. Just <laughs> gay. Just clitoris. Buy, That's no. all I like. I was like, okay, cool. Are you sure? Bitch? All right. I was like, how was I supposed to know this? She's like, dude, you don't see how I was dressed? I'm like, bitch, you could have worked at Target. Like, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what. You got red polo and khaki pants on the Jordans. They don't. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Sorry. Like, she was good. But here's a question, though. Is it gay to want to have sex with a lesbian? No. Cause, cause lesbian want to have sex. I ain't talking about uh, the lesbian that scissors. I'm talking about the one like the stud? that put on the, the stud, the stud, the strap on. But she decided to be a stud yesterday. I'll say no because I seen some pretty ass fucking studs. Yo, man, some of y'all studs can get it. Nah, huge fact. Y'all great quit playing. Some I'll, of y'all ain't. I'll even. pull y'all braids back. Uh, I'll give y'all that work. That's rape, bro. The, no, no, no. If it's consensual first. Yeah, all was. You know, there you go. Y'all not real stuff. She called me up when she said, when she, you know, hey, you know, look. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, she just called me like, hey, l l let's stop the bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on here? Okay? Look, I'm, I'm tired of slanging the dick. I want dick slung at me. Well, well, I'm be like, hey, you know, Bro. what's going on? What's going on here? Can I show you this this Instagram thing real quick, bro? <laughs> Say this shit too. It's my cousin. No, oh, okay. That's what's up, man. I think she was. She I think she's becoming a hoe. <laughs> you think your cousin becoming a hoe? Shout out to Jazz, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna shout her out? <laughs> you ain't shit. You ain't shit. Everybody else ain't had to know that that was your cousin. You <laughs> shout out to Jazz, y'all. <laughs> Jazz, you a hoe. I see you showing your ass off on Instagram and everything, and I ain't gonna comment on your ass because you can. Yeah. Good morning, first of all. I was uh getting my coffee this morning mm -hmm. at the shed. Mm -hmm. They ran out of sugar, you know what I'm right. saying? So I was using them little packages of sugar. I had yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? I got a little coffee. Right. So it, it was a stud behind me, right? Mm -hmm. Naturally. She was like, damn, they ran out of sugar. Mm -hmm. I said, <laughs> yeah, they moved back in. I was a bad bitch for about two weeks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I definitely fucked stud, bro. Um, but my lady and I, oh, let me ask you a question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. You know it's crazy. We can start messing. Yeah, like, oh, this shit about to be. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, woo. Woo. -hoo -hoo. I don't know what answer this is about to be. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let me. <laughs> I tend to have this effect on people. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, shit. How do you feel? Okay, or not how do you feel? Have you ever... <laughs> Can you not look at me while you, while you do this question or something? Do I got to turn no. away? Do I got to turn away? Ooh. All right. He's just over here looking at my eyebrows and shit. Imagine that they're being arched and shit. That's what he's laughing at. That's what he's laughing at. Okay. It's like, I can't imagine you being a bad bitch with waves. It happens. It happens. I've seen a lot of them, okay? Seen a girl that had my same haircut and she rocked it better than I did. That's fucked up. And she was getting more numbers. Damn, I would got her number. Nah, man. No. Nah. Can't do that. Well, um, so, have you ever had a time where you may have uh, approached a lady um, knowing that she was bi or was dating a female, rather? Ooh. Thinking that she would be bisexual or having threesomes or then you get with her and she's like, nah, I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, this is a time. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood to do anything. Hold on, first of all. Soon I will be. We got to get some time together. First of all, don't change <laughs> when I come get you. Don't, don't do that because that's why I'm getting you, really. Because this is, this is what... This is what do this is what heterosexual men think when they hear bi. Okay, this is what it is. Hey girl, I I'm I'm bi. I just want you to know that off the rip. Okay. As soon as you said I'm bi, I just want you to know off the rip and then you start going into your childhood story of why you bi and when you knew you were bi. We don't hear none of that shit. All we hear is threesome. Uh, two bitches. <laughs> two, 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 two girls, one dick. That's, huh. that's that's all huh. that's all we hear. Not okay. cook. And that's and that's the pit that shit nasty. That, <laughs> that's the pinnacle of, know, of of where we try to go to, you know. So, so when you say like that. When we say, Hey girl, I am bi, you know, I just want you to know that and everything, but I'm willing to give up this bi life and and just have you be my single, my my only person that I fuck with. Yeah. And I'm willing to put aside the fact that I'm back and I want both people. I want both men and women. I'm willing to put that aside so that you and I can flourish in a relationship. First of all, I commend you on doing that. Because you got to understand, I'm doing the same thing. I am. Men are doing the same thing. When we say, I just feel like a dude saying, baby, let's get married. We marry me, all that other shit. Like, he putting his dick up in the museum. Like, he, 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 he hanging his dick up. Close. Like, like when they have kids and everything, and he get of age, he gonna be showing his son his dick on the gla behind the glass. Like, yep, yep, that's my dick up there. Yep. Yep, I ain't brought it out since. Yeah, Close. I was gonna be a whole hoe, to be yeah. honest with you. Then your mama came and got me. Got me off of these streets. <laughs> But in order to keep your mama, I had to put this dick behind glass. And that's, that's exactly what I did. Now, son, that's how you know you done met the right one. Yeah. When you make one, that, that make you want to throw your dick away. Damn. <laughs> no, throw your dick away. I don't want me like, yep, all right, cool. I found the last one yep. that I want. And, you know, I don't know, man. I've never approached a girl thinking that she was by for the sake of... Of you and she's dating threesome. a girl. I'm never, you know, I'm like, not like y'all talking right now, like and she's dating a girl. <laughs> and she's like, no way, I'm done with her. Is she talking to a girl or she's dating a girl? Because there's a difference. People don't think that there's a difference, but there is. Dating to me is um, <clears throat> exclusive. Like you and that other person um, have been fucking with each other for a while, with the understanding that you are the only one. To me, that's dating. Right. Talking to is, I mean, it's, it's, it's fucking fluid. I'm talking to you right now, but right. but we ain't we ain't, we ain't homosexual. You well, know? I was trying to push for no sexual relationship, it, but talking in that sense is like, hey, I'm trying to feel out who like me. I'm trying to figure out. Hold on one second. Go ahead. Mm, they kind of what's that acquired taste? I feel like that's like passed down. Mental shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Because uh, racism is learned, and it is also a tradition. So, yeah, uh, so getting slapped up through, a little bit. Through family traditions, that is passed down, you know. Don't go over there, don't talk to this person. Uh, this person has this, this person acts this way, and stuff like that, you know. 
and uh, and my field is comedy, so uh, a lot of what we deal with is with stereotypes, and one thing that we always do, regardless of what comic you're listening to, is uh, make fun of these stereotypes, and the only reason why it's funny is because we can all agree that it is either true on some level, or we're laughing about the absurdity of the stereotype, because some of these stereotypes are a little bit out there. Yeah, I've mean, heard of her. I mean, I am glad though I had that. You, you need one of those experiences with a person who kind of likes, um, especially uh, like domination, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Like it helps a lot to different kind of you, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it helps you get outside your own. Yeah, man. Parameters. It's how fucking you look. Your girl different now. She more paranoid type shit. Yeah. Be like, she like, man, who? What the fuck? No, I don't need that. I've had had situations where, uh, you know, that that might happen, and uh, she was like, "Ooh, yeah. you know, ooh, something awoke in you." No, <laughs> <laughs> <Girl. laughs> dude, you know, you know what was funny? It's like uh, you ever notice that when you horny, you get like real strong. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. You get real strong. Yeah. Like no matter how strong you are, when you lift weights and yeah. shit, you would never be as strong. Yeah. It's like when you're horny or whatever. So like, if if my girl is like trapped under a car or whatever, and I gotta lift that car up, I'm gonna literally have to just pull my dick out and just be like, okay, look, suck it real quick. <laughs> okay, cause I need the strength. I need the strength. Then I'm right, gonna pull out the X videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, like, no, no, I'm talking about that. You can't get this type of strength when you do X videos because in your mind, it's it is me and I'm not gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? But like when it is her, it's like you try to see that look on her face. Yeah. That, huh? You try to see. You try to, <laughs> to see that look. So you gonna work your hardest to get that look in, you know. So so when you like, ooh, ooh, okay, all right, cool, go stop, stop, yeah. cause cause you can't keep you can't keep sucking because like 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 cause it, I like I'm strong before I nut, but after I nut, it's like I'm weak. Uh, <laughs> I'm weak. I am nimble. You hear me? Like, <laughs> Okay, all right. Like, I can live that way. I, I can toss a four by four if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> but that's before I nut. <laughs> After I nut, <laughs> nigga. No. She a dead motherfucker. No, nah, seriously. No, nah, for <laughs> she real. Dead, uh. Um, Did you take. Have you had the time to watch the, um, the Breakfast Club interview with Martin and Will Smith? Yes, I watched that last night. Man, how do you feel yeah, yeah, about their relationship? I feel like that's an honest, honest brotherhood yeah. right there. Is it just because it's called Bad Boys for Life? No, I don't think it's called just because of that. It might have had something to do with it with the you know, subconscious branding of the two. Right. But um, just to hear their story about how the first Bad Boys happened and uh, hear it from both of their perspectives. You know, back in the day, Martin and the Fresh Prince were the rising yeah. black... Yeah. stars in sitcoms right in the sitcom world so when both of those guys came together mm -hmm. at that point it was like Amazing. yo this yeah. is this is the shit you yeah know? and the fact that they were able to do a sequel i'm not sure how it did in the box office and everything but uh to, in my opinion the sequel was too long right. uh <laughs> but it's like you know i still watch them yeah and everything and even though some of the jokes are a little bit outdated. The stuff that stuck, it really did. Right. Stuff like that, Ray Ray. Yeah, 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 huh? <laughs> yeah, Man, yeah, that's I'll that. Started, I don't remember that that scene where the teenager came in. Oh yes, and I Dog. was trying to take Megan out on a date. Yeah, and they're <laughs> telling the story about yeah, how they got him shaking. About how that actually happened. Yeah. That was a very uh, insightful uh, story. And I'm, that shit lit though. I can't wait till uh, it's, it's this Friday, ain't it? It's come out this Friday for real. Is it this Friday? I think so. Yeah. It's been about time. Everybody been yeah. kind of waiting on this. Everybody's shit. been waiting on it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised people really been waiting on that though. Honestly, I'm not surprised really because. Uh, yeah, Will Smith still has a lot of star power. January seventeenth. Yeah, it's this week. Damn. Yeah, Will Smith has a lot of star power. Martin Lawrence still has a lot of star power. And uh, everybody just kind of wants to see what else can you come up with, you know, that will uh, 
match or supersede what the first two were. Right. You know, I think I, I think everybody's always willing to give it a second shot or a third shot. Right. Well, in the, in the, the land of prequels, in the land of prequels <laughs> and sequels, yeah, we might as well have a Bad Boys Three. Yeah. I mean, it just makes sense. They are trying to make a fourth one, low key. You know? Yeah, yeah, but they say they're gonna wait till you know the audience recep uh, receives it and everything. Yeah, it, if it but ain't trash. on imdb.com, you know, they got the movies that are slated to come out in the future. It's it's on there. Yeah, I mean, it's might it's as well. On there. Fast and Furious can do it. I don't see why two Black Kings can't. I don't see why they can't either, man. And I feel like they're still they still got that chemistry. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, well, when I was watching them talk, which is the reason why I asked you, it seemed like it was a business relationship until Will came out and said, oh, it's like the most absolute honest person you can ever meet. And, like, mm -hmm. I mean, he is, like, him to the absolute truth. And to where Mark's like, yeah, man, like, for real, like, man, thank you. Right. And that's when I'm like, okay. It seemed like he never just had that, that, that gratitude or hit those flowers given to him. Maybe. And so he kind of just gave it, kind of gave it more of a, okay, maybe they do kind of fuck with each other outside of a professional level. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? You see some people that just be chill, laid back, talk, you know what I'm saying? No, right. Not too talkative. But Easy to get along with. Yeah. And everything. But, yeah, I can definitely see, I can definitely see that. But then again, that chemistry that they, that they have. And that was portrayed on the last two movies and this press tour that they were doing. Uh, you can't fake that. I don't know. I don't think you can fake that. I, I mean, I gotta do some more because y'all, I'm some actors now. Yeah, I, but I, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's real though. That's real. I also like the one thing because I didn't pay too much attention to where the Martin Lawrence um, lit tour mm -hmm. was going to travel to. Like I, I seen like earlier in the like I think they came in 2019. Here. I think they came here sometime last year. Right, because I, I you know, sometimes on Facebook it shows on yeah, Martin. Yeah, yeah, off and on now. Yeah, see, I hate going on Facebook because I always see some depressing shit now. Man. Yeah, that is so, true. So it's like, I try to, I go on it by accident and I'll be, oh, well, I want to do this or this has been coming out. Right. But then I see dog got left on the side of the street in the wheelchair and I'm like, oh, shit, I got to go oh, right oh, Wait, 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 a dog yeah. was left on the side of the street? In a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. You know the dog that was getting a little wheelchair? No! <laughs> no! What type of Disney 100 Dalmatian shit is you listening to? Bro, listen, alright. You know, sometimes they're high legs, did, don't did, worry. Did the, did the dog also have like a rectal thumb over the stick out of his mouth? <laughs> and a cool pack on his head? With a quilt? <laughs> You know the one that Nana used to make? Yeah. <laughs> Nana. Nana. <laughs> Nana. But no, nah, it, it was just, you know, you know little chairs that they, 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 they attach to, they, they, they hind legs because they don't. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you were like a literal wheelchair. <laughs> I was like, what type of shit is that? That would be crazy, that, bro. That, what type of weed <laughs> is you smoking where you... <laughs> When you see a dog in a wheelchair, the dog just, yeah, the like, dog just like moving. Oh my god! Continue on with life. I'm like what? The dog speak English now? Like what the fuck is going on? Oh. <laughs> At least have subtitles with the little bouncer ball on it. Bouncer Don't ball. have the dog actually speak English like it's fucking Scooby Doo. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Raggy, my reference don't work, Raggy. <laughs> Raggy, <laughs> I wouldn't have a Snoopy snap, Raggy. They coming out with that animated uh, Scooby Doo thing. I'm not sure if it's gonna do well, but I'm giving it a shot. Did you see the trailer for it? It's just like, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'll go see it, but I don't know. Go fast, Scooby Doo. He's a jackie. I don't work. Zorks, Scoop. Zorks. That is the most depressing shit ever. Scooby, use your back legs. Oh, I can't, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Scooby, you can't feel your legs. Well, I can't feel my legs, Kagi. Man, God bless us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> you don't want to go to hell. It's a fictional character. 
How are you gonna go to hell for making fun of a fictional character? I don't know, Jesus ain't real. What type of shit is that? They say, Joe Rogan now say that, uh, not exactly word by word, mm. but they say that a lot of the things written in the Bible could have happened because of a lot of um, hallucinogenic mushrooms mm. that people were eating back then. So mm -hmm. Jesus walking on water and things of that nature, it's like hallucinations. I don't know. Like people get swallowed by a big fish and survive and then getting spit out and on another side of the land. You know? I don't know, man. I feel like uh, back then a lot of the supernatural shit was a lot closer to Earth. But, but why? Like, where did they go? Hey, man, look. I don't know. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna pretend to answer these questions. But I really do think that, man, if you... If, nowadays, man, I be looking at some of this shit, man. I would be like, man, if you could think it, it probably is possible. Or it probably did happen. The people want to know, are you a vampire? You know, I prefer to think of myself as a werewolf. I just decide not to turn uh, at the moon, full moon, because I don't look at the shit. Like the Twilight werewolf? Or are we talking about underworld? I'm definitely talking about a Twilight ass werewolf. Why? Wow. Uh, because I don't like to fight. <laughs> and the Twilight werewolves can't fight for shit. Uh, all they do is just run at their target and, and they bite. miss and they keep on going. They bite. They, I mean, they bite, you know, but but all the vampire gotta do is just sidestep and hug it real tight. Damn. Like, I love you, nigga. Like, oh, shit, you broke my back. Damn, bro. <laughs> and then what happened to Jacob? The vampire gave a really big bear hug, and that yeah. motherfucker's arm was broke. He was like, oh, Bella, yeah. I love you. Uh. Yeah. Damn, bro. Do you know, honestly, you know, that's why movies made me kind of want uh, a relationship. In like the woods, while this them the Twilight song. movies made me want to uh, cut myself because the music in there was so depressing. Yeah, <laughs> Even when it was supposed to be happy, the somber ass yeah. piano music, ding 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 ding. I'm like shit, man. Yeah, that was yeah. sad. That yeah. was really sad. Y'all supposed to be happy and in love, but ding 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 ding. It's like, yeah. look. I mean, I was listening to it at work because that's how the fuck I felt. That's and this West so crazy because they actually had that song playing at work early, like one of those parts. Yeah, like what the hell? I don't know what that bitch is. I'll be like, damn, y'all bitch give me my feelings and shit. I'm Yo, thinking. do you remember the fi the the phenom that was the Twilight series? You ever go to see that in the movie? I oh, know. Man, don't. It was lines of nothing but teenage girls. The phenom. Yeah, the phenom, man. What the fuck is that? The the the, the uh, phenom is a, is astronomical event or person, you know. And this this was an event. Okay? The phenomenon. The phenomenon. Yeah, that shit. That man. Look out the theater. Uh, I'm talking about had lines wrapped around. Yeah, yeah, nah, for real. Shit leading out to the door, like you, like, hey, is this the line to get in? It's like, no, nah, this line to see Twilight. Okay, well, I'm gonna see another movie. I can just move past y'all. Yeah. Yeah, goddamn, going to go see Tyler Perry. Everybody walking to see Twilight. Yeah, yeah. Goddamn. And Tyler Perry movies be sold out when they first come out. Yeah. It's he it, it had lines for Twilight. And it's crazy now that he's finished doing those movies now. It's Sad. They they said there is a rumor out that they're supposed to be doing another uh, series between Jacob and Renesmee and everything. I'm in Top Harry. They kind of, oh Top Harry. Yeah. Yeah, man. Boy, he's a pedophile. Oh, um, is he? He imprinted on on with baby. Oh, you talk. Oh, okay. You're not talking about Tyler Perry. No, no. no. About, I'm like, damn, Tyler Perry the imprinted on nigga. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Saying like, okay, first the dresses, and now he's imprinted on little children. That, ain't that some shit? No, that is some bullshit, though. But that is, that's, that, I think that's why it's still a rumor and hasn't been confirmed yet. Because um, that would be a little weird. That's pedophilia. That would be a little weird. You know, he imprinted on the child, and even though the child grew up fast, that is a pedophile reason to be in love with a child. Yeah. You know, oh, damn, girl, it look like you done grew up since last time I seen you. Yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> for real. Oh. It's uh, like, oh, that is very, that, that made me uncomfortable just saying it. She turned 15 in two years. Yeah, she, she got 15 in two years. Then stayed 20. Mm-hmm. No, she stayed 18 for like the rest of her life. And that baby was CGI as fuck. That baby, yeah. I mean, they, they could have got a baby. Maybe. Maybe the baby wouldn't be a real baby. I know, but... but Maybe it can have a you, real baby. If you go to show a, a baby, why the baby got to be CGI? That was an obvious CGI baby. CGI wasn't even good. Yeah. 
I mean, like, we got a bunch of CGI that's good. I mean, uh, by this time, Benjamin Button that came out. They, they were running out of funds, bro. <laughs> they had to. They Did like, you see the last fight scene? They had to run out of nah, money. They were like, man, fuck this baby. CGI that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so we could just get a baby. Like, no, nah, fuck that. Yeah. CGI the baby. <laughs> Somebody draw it. You gonna render it? No, no rendering. Just CGI the oh, baby. No render. We go. The baby's gonna be in 480p. <laughs> but the pixels. movie is gonna be in 1080p. Got pixels on the baby's face. Dude, that buff. That baby was buffering. It was just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's oh like, what, what is that? I would like to have a nice little cabin out there in the woods. Like they're not a cabin, but a house like theirs. Oh. Yeah, I kind of wanted like a little rich white, dangerous underground family. Um, no, I'm good on that, man. I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. Living but they're going to be black people. They're not going to be I'm white. I'm cool though. living in the hood or the suburbs. Because I, I, I feel like I know. If you can move anywhere, where did you move both to? Both areas. Uh, I would move exactly where I'm at. I don't think I would change anything. What I would change is the opportunity around me. Okay. I mean, like, if you could just go live somewhere for free. Just live somewhere for free? Yeah. For free? You still for got free. Yeah, you still got your personal house. It's just for a year though. It's just for a year. Like say like somebody. Free? Yeah, let's like say you you got your own shit. You it's a shit, tax write off. Shit. Shit. L.A. or New York? That's lame, bro. It bro, is I, lame, but they're the most expensive places in the U.S. aside from Vegas and Miami. So if, 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 if I'm US, saying though. if I'm saying for free, I'm for free go. outside the U.S. Outside the U.S. Shit, probably uh probably Japan. That's better. Japan or China. Yeah, somewhere, okay. Yeah. Somewhere. I'm trying to get us out the U.S., man. Yeah. I wouldn't say London, because I feel like it's too similar to the U.S. No, I don't want to go to London. I'm scared motherfuckers out there be trying to harvest our organs and shit. I would be more scared of uh, being in China and Japan, so because you don't know the language and you might be agreeing to some shit that you don't know that you agree to. Yeah. At least at least with uh, London and everything, aside from, you know, French and other different languages, they have proper English. Yeah. So it'll be a little kind of weird for you understanding that, but you know, you you'll still be able to understand half of it. I mean, the Japanese person can come up to you and 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 say, you know, do you want to join the Yakuza clan? But all you heard was ramen noodles, and you just like, I yeah. Know. It's like yeah, yeah, I would love some ramen noodles. And he's like, okay, cool. And they hand you a samurai sword, and now you the black nigga. And then no, <laughs> the Yakuza that's clan. Lit. No, it like, wouldn't be lit, boy. That wouldn't be lit. Nigga, is this a sword? Come on, man. <laughs> You either gonna be the top yakuza, ah! or you gonna be the bottom yakuza. I mean, you black nigga. That <laughs> 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 you black. Ain't nobody there that look like you. You gonna have to have a distinguishable position. You either gonna be wop, mopping up the blood on the floor, yeah, or you gonna be spilling that shit. I mean, the, I I don't think I think the guy who mops up the blood are the people who are really underpaid. I think they're not paid at all. That's what I, I think. They I are. think they're paid uh, in the. Please? I think they're paid with shit that they already got. Like, like I won't kill you if you mop this shit up. Well, it's like I already had my life. No. Thank you for allowing me to keep it. Nah, no, I think it's more like you make twenty dollars an hour. That's more than I make. But the you I mean, you know, I mean, but the yen is. ain't stronger than a dollar, is it? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, well, so it don't really matter. If I'm getting paid twenty yen an hour, then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. Maybe that's what you, you know. People up in the rank getting paid what two thousand a month. I mean, it ain't I mean, even two thousand. It ain't even that. I, I, a week. Do you really think that that organized organized crime like that really pay their subjects, or do you really think that they just got connections to where they ain't got to really pay for anything? Ain't they gotta get paid. I don't, I don't know, man. I, don't know. I, I mean, I don't know how they do it over here in China, but niggas over here ain't worried for free. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, got, I got to get cut or something. But that's technically not necessarily the organized crime. I mean, you got you got gangs. See, that's that's the thing that I always notice. Black folks got gangs. Everybody else got mafias and mobs. I mean, when you think about it, name a black mafia. Crips and blood. That those are gangs. I know, but if you're those up, are gangs. up there, they are not. No disrespect. That's like, that's like saying like, I don't like, need y'all coming after me, but y'all are not in a position of political power like a mob or a mafia would be. Yeah, I mean, I, ain't, I don't know any famous ones besides like the Yakuza. 
Yeah, that's true. But the Russian mafia, the Italian mob. I mean, that's the not Mexican. That's mafia. not fair. Yeah, it is. Because, because you're basically saying ethnic groups and saying put the mob at the end of it. That's no, that's what they're literally called. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they're called. Well, I didn't the name black them mafia that. Didn't shit. I didn't name them that, but this was there hasn't the, been the black mafia. Did there, there hasn't been a black mafia? It it period. is it, black mafia. Is what it's called. Well, well, okay, who's it? Jamie <laughs> <laughs> Foxx. No, nigga. no. What's gonna happen? A bunch of singing. Six no. nine. No. Yeah. I wouldn't want six nine. No damn word with his snitching ass. Hmm. Well, well, no damn where. Yeah, um, you know it's bad when Fifty Cent did a song you. <laughs> no, no, that is pretty fucking crazy though. <laughs> that is it's bad, bad when Fifty Cent did a song you. That is pretty bad. No, but 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 that's the thing. It's like, and I'm not saying that they're not just as powerful or can't be as powerful, but that's the, that's just how black folks are branded. We are never yeah. on the level of anybody else. We're always either a level below or we're like leagues. Beyond, but we're still treated like we're below. Yeah, I was going to ask you how you know how you feel about the, the Mexican cartel being in the U.S. Uh, well, I ain't ran into them. <laughs> oh, we probably, we probably have, but just didn't even know. Hey, man, that's why you got to treat others the way you want to be treated. Exactly. At all times. For real. Yeah, you got to get that political finger on. Just treat others with the love and respect that you would want to receive, and. Uh, you might be okay. Uh, but, but seriously, you know, that's the thing about it. You, you really don't know who you're talking to. Yeah. You really don't know who you're going to meet. You really don't know who you're dealing with. So yeah. it's always good to just treat everybody the way that you would uh, you would want to be treated. Um, I feel about the Mexican cartel same way I feel about the gangs here. It's, I don't agree what's going on. Um, but... I'm they more scared of they operate on a stricter policy of you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I ain't yeah. going to go down that road and hopefully they ain't going to go down that road uh, with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's just weird. Like When you when you get to a certain level of success, at least back in the day, yeah. like in the 60s and stuff, like Sinatra, that nigga was Would you take a picture with El Chapo? I mean, if he if he said, "Hey, BJ Grammer, I really fuck with your comedy. I want to take a picture with you." I think at that point you gotta, you, <laughs> no, I think you gotta take a yeah. picture. Ooh, <laughs> I don't give a damn what L he bringing. I mean, yeah. He might be bringing El, El Pollo Loco, but yeah. if he with El Chapo, I might take a picture with. Him. Yeah, no. I mean, right, I mean, right. is he the picture or what? You don't you gonna tell El Chapo to his face that you don't fuck with him? Hell no. No, I ain't doing that. Like, uh, no. Nah, hey, I seen they got your sons out. That's good for you, I'm man. I'm saying, hey, yo, El Chapo, what's going on, man? The first first things first, I can't get you where you want to be. <laughs> but if he still say, hey, bitch, your grandma, you make me laugh, man. I really want to take a picture with you. I'm like, okay, yeah, me, might as well. Yeah, yeah. Might yeah. as well. Anybody ask, I was forced. No. <laughs> I was forced. What you going to do, tell El Chapo? No. No, for real. No, nah, fuck that, man. This nigga got out of prison. Hey, fuck man. you. Hey, come to the King of the Queen podcast, Andy, and chop it up. Oh, get El Chapo. You go get El Chapo. We go chop up lettuce. <laughs> you ain't chopping up <laughs> shit. You better chop that out your out the podcast episode. That's what you better do. You better chop that shit. But we'll do all this editing. Shh, shh. All that shit that you be doing. <laughs> cut that shit. No, no, I'm saying really you can cut that shit. <laughs> that El Chapo shit. Shh, shh. Cut that shit. Like, like, no. Oh. Uh. Like, no, and if he puts it in here, just so you don't be fucking me up. If he put it in there, he... <laughs> <laughs> fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Oh, shit, man. Okay, everybody. We talked about something mainly important. That's respect everybody. I respect Robert Downey Jr. <coughs> for his acting, and he is an amazing and astonishing actor. However, I feel he can do better than Dr. Doolittle, bro. Hey man, he might make it into a, a another cultural phenomenon, you know. Cultural, his culture. Uh, just culture. Period. That's what Disney is going for. Disney is trying to touch all kids. I don't think it. What kind of, like? I don't think you, it. Uh, like a universal culture. I think it's like more so of a universal culture. You know, I don't, I don't think it has to be like or black or white or something like that. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of yeah, it's kind of like eating bacon. You know, you know, you know, it's bad for you, but you know, it's bacon. It's bacon. <laughs> it's bacon. 
You know, and the people that don't fuck with bacon, they don't fuck with bacon. But at the same time, the people that don't fuck with bacon, they don't wish any bad on the people that do fuck with bacon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's bacon. I breathe in air. Yeah. You know? Just because your air is a little bit cleaner up there in the north don't mean that I hope that you suffocate and die. Speaking of the north, uh, who... Who in Maine? Somebody stabbed somebody with some Popeyes. I don't know. That's that always happens. Yeah, no, nah, but it was like when the whole chicken sandwich was exploded. Yeah, no. It, right. it, it, people always two stabbed. people got stabbed in Popeyes. Yeah. And at first, I thought that there was like white folk because they, you know, like the news is always pushing these ignorant niggas. Yeah. That did this stupid shit. Yeah. So when they didn't release the photo for a while, I thought that these were some white people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, I, and I got proud to be an American because I was like, I love to live in a world where white folks are stabbing each other and dying over nigga chicken. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Ha. We came, we, we, we came, we saw, I had a dream. <laughs> yeah, and we conquered y'all ass. <laughs> and, and then it was niggas, and I was like, yeah, shit. Damn. Sent us back 200 years. <laughs> Stabbing with some chicken. All you had to do to not get stabbed was like, hey, bro, if you let me skip you, I'll pay for your sandwich. Yeah. That's all you had to do. He ain't have enough money, bro. Fuck that. You got enough money. It's a sandwich. He, <laughs> it's had, a sandwich. Yeah, he had enough money for right. a sandwich and a knife, bro. That's all you had. That's all you had. Somebody stabbing you, nigga. Somebody got... stabbing you over a chicken Sandwich. Bro, he probably stabbed somebody for the money to buy the chicken yeah, sandwich. Yeah, it's, I've had that chicken sandwich, okay? It's nothing but a chicken sandwich with hot sauce on it. Man. And you stabbing a nigga listen, over it. Listen. <laughs> hey, when you said people don't touch they food, bro, they mean that shit. My nigga. Niggas like, is out here eating ramen noodles every day. That had to have some type of voodoo on it. Like, like I, I, I feel like somebody was like putting a voodoo curse on every single chicken that went out. Like, like you know how you got the assembly line and shit? It's one job. It's one person's job to put the chicken on the bun. There's another person's job to put the lettuce on the chicken. There's another person's job to put the bun on the lettuce. There's another person's job to be like, yum, 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 and then wrap it and then put it into the bag yeah. and serve it to yo, eat the ass. And now you eating it, eating that voodoo chicken, and you just feel the need to start stabbing niggas. <laughs> yeah, no, for real though. Um, I got this one crazy small fact. Um, there's a parasite mm -hmm. that takes over rats' brains. Did we talk about this? Yeah, yeah. And uh, sometimes the cats eat the uh, rat, and then no. that parasite comes out in the cat's feces. And what? If you touch it, um, then you automatically got it, and that parasite uh, makes it more makes you more aggressive. Yes, that's you know that that's along the lines, but the cat don't eat the rat. They don't eat the rat? No. No, the rat fucks the cat. The rat fucks the cat. Yeah. The rat fucks the cat. Yeah. The cat don't know it's infected. It's eating the fucking. I get those two mixed up sometimes. Because a lot of times in my world, people, they go together. Okay? I'm, yeah. If I'm fucking. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm eating. Well, now she's on the site. On site. On site. Hey, my lady. Because I ain't. I ain't, I ain't fucking nothing that don't look edible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cannibalism, bro. Yeah. No, nah, man. I mean, going down on the chick. Yeah, that's cannibalism. They're going down on the it's chick. It's fleshy down there. It is fleshy down there. That's cannibalism. It's not for the faint of heart, but, you know, that's how you grow hair on your chest yeah. and on your face. And as you can tell, I'm experienced. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Keep the please, podcast. Shout out. <laughs>